you can never prosper above your mindset. If you want to be wealthy, you want to make money, you want to be rich. The first thing to build is your mindset. Remember what the scripture said, the Bible says, as a man taking his heart, so is he. So, the level and the quantity and the volume of money you will ever have is based on your mindset. If the capacity of your mind is small, the outcome of your um, uh, word will also be small. It is your mindset that is the angel room of your money house. Let me repeat that for you. It is your mindset that is the angel room of your money house. If your mind is big, the money will be big. Today, by the grace of God, I remain Pastor Lagbon Segosa. And this is your first time of seeing any of my videos. Please do subscribe, share, and click the notification button. This is Palm Tree Global TV. Today, we'll be teaching 10 different kind of business that you will do to, that you do and you begin to make profit from it. 10 different kind of business. And the truth of the matter is, most of these business I'm going to be teaching you today, you must have, you know them anyway. Maybe you trivialize it, maybe you, I don't know, but whichever way, I'm going to be giving an eye opening today and it's going to be a blessing to you. Now listen to me. Becoming a boss of yourself is the best you can ever do for your life. Becoming the chief CEO, employ yourself, is the best you can ever do to yourself. That is the truth. And becoming the CEO is a gradual process. Now, I will recommend this book to you. Um, I'm not doing an advert here, but I will recommend the book to you. Poor Dad, Rich Dad. This is one of the, book, one of the books I've read that enlightened me, that give me wisdom. Okay? So, poor that is that, um, you can read it for your own, for a beginner, okay? It's a greater process. Now today, before we go to number one kind of business that you will start as a person, let me ask this question. You're watching this video now. Maybe you are watching this video, you don't have a job that is giving you an income. You could be a pastor, you could be an engineer, you could be a pharmacist, you could be anything. But if that thing you are doing is not giving you a reasonable amount of money and you have a car that is another job for you that is another job for you and listen to me you watching this video with all due respect I don't mean to offend you if you have a car and you don't have a land please go and sell the car and use it to buy a land or better still start making money with that car I wonder what people do nowadays. You have car, maybe either um, um, big or small. You are you using it to blow guy? When the money you are gotten monthly or weekly is not enough to take off you and your family. At times you have to leave the car and you trek. Now when people ask you, how is your car? Because the people will ask. They can't ask of your family, but they will ask of the car. Where's your car? You say, well, it's at home. I just want to trek. And it's a lie. You know it's because of where? Let me tell the gospel to beloved. I'm going to be teaching 10 different kind of business, but listen to this one. I'm not going to take this video. We're going to break it like series. I don't want to take much longer time on this video. But listen to me. If you have a car, and that car, the money you are getting from the business you are doing now is not enough. Please, that car, you can still use it as a source of transportation. One of the biggest business you can ever venture on is transportation. Those of you who are looking, some of, you, some, of, some of you have been calling me, asking me, what kind of business should I invest on? What am I going to invest on? Listen, if you can invest, if you have money, invest in transportation. Either within your, 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 your locality, within your state, within your transportation. All the Western world, all the Europe world you are seeing today, all the Europe, most of them, their source of income is transportation. If you want to be driving from, let me use, this is Bini, I'm using Bini as an example. Maybe from uh, from Benin to Wari to Ogaran to Lagos or within the environment, and you have a sand vehicle. I am telling you, you are on your way to prosperity. I am speaking from a practical experience. I drove a car. I, I, I work as a as a taxi man in this nation, in this Benin. I work as a cabman in this Benin, and with that cab, I was able to raise. I am telling you the truth to raise a reasonable amount of money that gave me good property. As an Uber, not Uber anyway, just Tazi. Put a Tazi on top of it. And as at that time, those of you that knows me very well, somebody will ask me, ah, how can you use your car? No. It gives me money. 
Now, in my mini depot, maybe I will show I will show up the video. In my mini depot that I have now, in my mini depot where I sell cement, at times some of my vehicle will have issue, my long down will have issue, the long truck will have issues. Some of them, for example, they have issues. I will bring out my islander. I used to pack cement. Now someone said this may this may, this may go kill her. It go kill her. Man, the question is this. If I didn't meet the, the standard or the the, the, the the demand of my, my client, my customers, and the vehicle is there, doing what? If it got spread, I will still take out of the money the vehicle has worked to feast it. It's true. Some of you have agriculture, you have a, a fowl farm. You'll be looking for a vehicle that will help you take your, your, your manure. And you have a car. Please use it. If you get dirty, please watch. After washing, if anything spread, replace. Because after all, even if you didn't even use it, you still get bad. It's a matter of time. So, what I'm telling you today is this. If you want to be wealthy, it starts from your mind. If your mind is big, the volume of the money that enters your hand is big. Listen, money is a spirit. If your mind is not educated to be financially okay, no matter how labor you labor, no matter how hard work you think you are, you are still not going to be prosper. You are still not going to be wealthy. So, prosperity starts from the mind. Wealth starts from the mind. Money starts from the mind. So, if you want to be a millionaire, it starts from your mind. If you want to be wealthy, you want to work, you want to live a, 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 a good life, it starts from your mind, beloved. The Bible says, as a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. So, if you want to prosper, start building on your mind. Start working on your mind. Start educating your mind. Start learning Book, reading books that will help you to expand your mind. For your mind, once again, is the engine room of your money room. Mm, I like that. All right, quickly, let's not forget. For those of you who already have some money, you want to invest in business, please, and please, and please, be careful. Because one investment can make you poor if you miss it. The one investment can also make you rich if you get it right. All right, back to business. Please don't fail to subscribe to YouTube to, to this YouTube channel because what I'm teaching you and what I'm going to be teaching you is what I have that take I have taken my time to study to know that I'm teaching you now for free. The only help you're going to help me is to please subscribe to my YouTube channel and help me share the YouTube channel as well. And the reason why you share is because there are some persons who this video. To you, it might not be 100% acceptable, but there are some persons who need it and it will help them. Because out of every nonsense, there's always a sense. Yes, I believe God sent me to bring this video and it will help somebody. If it's not going to help you, it will help somebody. Please do share. And the reason why you should subscribe is because you never can tell me the next video might be important to you if this one is not important to you. You never can tell. That is the reason why I say you should subscribe. And the only reason why I say you should not click the notification button. Even while you are not uh, conscious about it, you get an, an alert that, hey, Palm Tree have just dropped another one. And I know it's going to be a blessing. God bless you, beloved. Um, let me take a partial break here. I'll come back to you and let's continue. Shalom. God bless you. Yeah, welcome back. Palm Tree Global TV. Yeah. Now, as we continue... Let me drop this for you before we, we commence. Please, don't borrow to be rich, but live to be rich. One of the number one business, you can start with 20,000 Naira, and at the end of the month, I am very 100% sure that you will make up to 100,000 Naira. It's very simple, very local, but at the same time, it's intensive. Number one is... Number one is phone charging business. Phone charging business. Listen to me, child of God. Nothing would come easy. If money is good, don't expect it easily. Phone charging business is a business that have been that is so productive in this nation. How is it? I will explain to you. Some of you, you already have a generator, either big or small. All you need is to buy extension. Some of you, you don't have a generator at all. But I'm teaching from a perspective of somebody who does not have generator at all. Now, this is what you're going to do, shout of God. Look for a community 
And there are too many community around you, wherever you are watching this video, there are too, too many community around you where there is no electricity, there is no light. Before light comes to that community, you must take advantage of it. What I am teaching you now is a practical proof. I don't teach you what I have not practiced. And I will not teach you what I don't know. Phone charging is so productive to the essence it can even give you more than a hundred thousand in a month. How is it? Go to a community. You can live where those of you who are still in a city, you don't have money, you are still in a city. You don't have money, you are living in a three bedroom flat. One month is coming to an end, you are running a task and looking for where to get money to pay. You are troubling yourself. Please relocate. Even your one room where you are staying, it could become your business center. Get a generator. You can buy the one they call a pass my neighbor. Nowadays, it is a bit expensive. Don't buy a new one. Look for the old one. If God helps you, you have money. Buy the one that is above their pass my neighbor. You can get it from the mechanic. The old one. Just fist it. Just repair it. Right now, if you want to get a used generator that is still very sound, like a pass my neighbor that is still very sound, you can get it as low as 15,000 naira. Very sound. Extremely sound. Can I get some for 10,000? Can I get some for 8,000? Please don't buy the stolen one. Make sure you are buying it with a receipt and with a proof to avoid you spending unnecessary money instead of making money. Now, for charging, you get a, a, a socket. Buy socket. Go to a community where there is no light. Let them know. Put it as a notice. Let them know that you charge phone here and people pay you for charging. It could be per hour. It could be per a fool, whichever case it may be. Put on your journey for two hours. The fuel that will take you for two hours will not exceed 500 naira. And let me tell you, if it's a business you have been doing and you want to start doing it, you will make good money from it. People will come and plug their phones and they will pay you. Okay, let me give an instance. Those of you who are in Benin, those of you who are in Benin, there's a community they call Utesi. I'm using it as an example, as a case study. I have a very, I have a friend of mine, though he's not a Benin, he's another tribe. That is what he does for, a, that is what he do for a living. He came to meet me and he asked me, what am I going to be doing? What should I invest on? I asked, how much do you have? He said, he have 10,000. I said, okay, that 10,000 that I could become a, a millionaire in, in, in not too long. I introduced him into this business. He has been doing this business for two years now. For that two years, he has been able to buy one sand bike, 330,000 naira. He gave it to somebody for balance and carry. He bought another bike, not new one anyway. The first one he bought is new one. He bought another one second hand. And as I'm telling you, I am telling you the truth of the matter. He has gotten the land as well. Not too big, just 50 by 100. But with phone charging in two years, he has gotten himself a good feeding, a good house that he's staying. He's, 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 no, he's no longer sleeping in the outside of kiosk or whatever. He has a room now that he's staying furnished and prepared. Um, um, he has a... Um, 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 a bike that is working for him, about two bikes, he has a land already. But to some of you, you look at it, what kind of job is that? I beg you, that is what people used to say. But do you know that little plus little equals orere? Yes, it is true. Don't despise the little beginning. And this young boy, I'm telling you now, those of you, you might, some of you who watch this video, who are within from the, who are from this environment, you know what I'm talking about. This same guy I'm talking about now, he has got him more than three generators, some big, big ones. He's no longer using a past my neighbor. He has got him the bigger one, the normal bigger one. He has about three of them now. In different locations, phone charging business. Those of you in Lagos, in any way, any area you know there is no sound light, put a notice. Charge your phone here. It could be 200, it could be 300, it could be 150, depending on the area and depending on the kind of gen you are using. That is number one. Then number two, if you have any question you want to ask about this, you can ask me privately or whichever way, no problem. I will respond to you. I'm not going to take much time on this video. When we get to number 10, you will hear the real one. But we are coming gradually. Number two is a toothbrush business. Yes, you hear me right. Toothbrush business. Now, what is toothbrush business? Normally, on a normal... This, you can do this one even inside a city, inside a town, inside a rural area, whichever way. Toothbrush. Now, this I'm telling you, I have a friend of mine who, who was my, who was, he was a cosmate. You know, we school together in the University of Benin. So, during this time of our schooling, personally, I was broke. 
when I say broke, I was totally, extremely, extraordinary broke. Look at what happened. They proved, so you know if I was broke or not. Let me tell you. I couldn't pay for hostel. I couldn't pay for hostel. Now, as at that time, I, I did have a formula. I bought a bicycle. Old bicycle as a dad. I would drive that bicycle from Upper to Ubowo for the six years of my schooling. That was how I was going to class. Now, while I'm going, what I'm driving, I put pure water in my mouth. That is my oxygen. I am driving, I'll be drilling the water. You know, that's how to me. I look at everything that there is no money. There's no money, but I just wanted to go to school. Then I have this friend of mine who was a cosmate at the same time was into the business of toothbrush and this this friend of mine this cosmate he was selling this brooch he hawked the brooch after class he would bring out the 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 um the pack of his business he began to hawk it he was able to pay his school fees he was able to pay his hostel he was able to do all the necessary clearance he needed to do as a result of selling toothbrush me who felt you know, there is no work, nothing. I was just at home. I couldn't pay for no I couldn't pay for school fees. That if I want to enter school, I will be looking for how to manipulate the, the pass before I could enter school. But somebody was doing a toothbrush business. As, as of today, as I speak with you now, he's no longer he no longer hawk the toothbrush. He not this on OC. But the um is it McLean you call it? Okay, the paste and all. He not this on all as a whole no longer a retailer. He's not a wholesaler. So he now deal on it as a major. He now import from other country to this country. But remember, he started with as low as, low as 10,000 at that time. With 10,000 era, he started that business. He was working. Listen, if you don't want people to mock you, to look down on you when you are looking, money, when you are looking for money, they will laugh you when you became too poor. In a road of prosperity, many people will look at you and call you names. They will call you names. They will call you names, beloved. After they have called you names, but let the result is what silent their names or their accuser. Toothbrush business, child of God. You can do it in city. You can do it anywhere. I call that one universal business. There is a huge profit in it. If you want to know how to start buying it, and I, please, uh, you can shout me with that, and I will give you the tips on that. You must understand. Take your time to look at this thing. You trivialize it. Okay, if it's not important, if it's not important, how come you see some young Igbo boys put brush on their head, they're hawking? It's productive. It pays. Oh, you don't know. You should know. And listen to me. Instead of you acting as a big man when you are not a big man, you know, you know, you know what is making you to, to trivialize this kind, this kind of job? Pride. Pride now. You know, I owe me. There's no whole you owe when there's no money in your pocket. It's half you. Yes, now, said, owe me. I, 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 I'll come the hawk brush. That is the beginning of your poverty. Your mindset is too low. Sorry, with all due respect. So, toothbrush is number two. And I am telling you, if you can embark on this toothbrush, you're going to enjoy it. I'll take a break here. Next week, I'll continue from here. We have, I've given you two, left with eight. When we get to number 10, I don't know. It's going to be awesome. Shalom, God bless you. My name remains Pastor Lagbon Segusa. Please help me share, subscribe to this YouTube channel. And quickly, somebody was asking me, let me just add this to this video. So was asking me how to start a cement business. $20,000 cannot start a cement business. But with um, 200000 I could caution on that. I could caution on that. God bless you.